Well, here we are. It's a Tuesday morning in Auckland, just after eight o'clock, and everybody's off to work. And this is what it looks like. It happens every day. For a couple of hours in the morning, a couple of hours in the afternoon, this is what we have, traffic gridlock. It's pretty grim, isn't it? You know, every year, Auckland loses $1.25 billion in lost productivity through traffic congestion. Not to mention the extra hour we have to spend in our cars and bumper to bumper traffic every day. It's been like this for years. Aucklanders hate it. So what's our council and government doing about it? Well, their answer is roads, roads and more roads. John Key and Len Brown want to spend billions of dollars on new roads all over the place. But even they admit traffic congestion is just going to get worse. Because every Aucklander knows when you build a new road, it just means you get to the traffic jam quicker. Honestly, you could tar seal the whole city and we'd still have traffic gridlock. And it gets even worse. They want us to pay an extra $400 million a year for the next 30 years, and they're gonna do that with increased fuel taxes, with increased rates, congestion charges on the roads, and road tolls themselves. And even after all that, we'll still be in traffic gridlock. Our big bold answer is to get rid of traffic gridlock within 12 months at less than half the cost of Len Brown's new roads. And how would we do it? With free and frequent public transport. So what would that look like? Comfortable, low emission buses and trains would take you to all parts of the Auckland urban area. No cash, no cards, just jump on and go as far as you need to. And along the way, check your emails and the latest news with free Wi-Fi. And what about the cost I hear you say? Well, it'll be $280 million a year, still less than half the cost of building Len Brown's new roads. And it ticks all the other boxes as well. Firstly, it saves money for workers. The Mayor of Tallinn, which is free public transport, calls it the 13th monthly salary for workers. Secondly, it stimulates the economy, not only by releasing that $1.25 billion in lost productivity each year, but also by putting more money into the real economy as workers who save money on public transport can buy other things. And less pollution. Less petrol and diesel burned up pointlessly and expensively every day in traffic gridlock. This is probably the greenest policy Auckland could adopt. And we need to finish the inner city rail link because if we do that, we can more than double the capacity on our trains and that's gotta be good for us. And what if you decide you don't like buses and you never want to set foot on a train? Well, you're a winner too, because you get to drive around in your car on gridlock-free roads all day. And you don't have to pay extra fuel taxes, no rate increases, no congestion charges, and no road tolls. This is a winner for everybody in Auckland. And possibly the biggest benefit of all, Aucklanders will get another hour at home with their family every day, or doing something they want to do. So talk to your family and friends, Make sure they're all on the electoral roll at the right address, otherwise they won't get their voting papers in September.